hello artists and welcome back to Mardon BFX. This time I prepare a small template to start your procedural project. This is a pretty easy step-by-step -step template that is gonna help you for starting your projects or just to learn how to start in the procedural modeling Houdini. Let's see how it works. So let's dive inside of the template. If we dive inside building, this is the main rig for generating procedural buildings. What if we want just to get a plug and play building creation, we just go into the master tool and here, for example, we have the parameter of the floor count. Maybe now we want 20. And here you will see that we are gonna move into different parameters. If you want to visualize one individually, because now this is a, a, a copy paste of buildings, we can visualize the building itself. So now this is gonna be, is gonna be faster to, to visualize and compute. So for example, we can change the floor height. Now we can play with the floor count. It's kind of almost real time. So for example, now we have the parameter of windows. We split this as a big windows and small windows. So each one has different parameters. So, but here you can plug any type of window you want. So here we have the, the windows. And let's start with the big ones. In, in purple one, we have the big ones and in blue color, we have the small ones. But you can add as many random types as you want. We can adjust the, the windows bias. So the windows are based on a measure node that is taking care of the perimeter of each wall. So if the wall, if the area of the wall is uh, smaller than something, the setup is going to put small windows. If it's uh, bigger, it's going to put uh, big windows. We can play with the window height, window width. And here we have this parameter that it's like pushing in and out the, the parameter of the windows. And this is just the uh, proxy geometry because the big windows is like the same small window, but uh, copy paste it to make it like bigger. So for example, here we can say like three, but as you can see, we can make it bigger, but you can see that now it's not in the middle of the building. So that's, that's why the template has this reset centroid that is gonna bring back the new window and it's gonna be in the middle of the, of the wall. Then we have to adjust the in and out. Then we have the folder of balcony. So this is like, uh, okay, don't make jokes about my model, modeling skills. This is a proxy balcony. And of course you, we can put the balcony wherever we want in this example template. So then we can play with the axis size and also the in and out um, bias, just if we want to push out a slightly bit. Then we have the door folder that the doors are treated especially because it's in the zero, uh, it's in the ground. So we have a different stuff. So here we have like, how many doors do we want? We have a random seat. And again, we have the inside and outside, at outside that you know, and the size of the window. Of course, you can make this thing like bigger and, and more complex. So then we have the blocking control. This blocking control is uh, taking care. So it's taking the building that you just uh, designed and it's like putting as a copies just to make uh, bigger shapes. So how many blocks do we want? Which is the distance between each block? And then how many number of buildings do we want, right? So now maybe we can, we have to increase the, the distance, but now it's like a pretty, pretty basic and, but fast way to generate neighborhoods, like Russian neighborhoods. Yes, the master tool works pretty well, but it's pretty simple. You have to make it more difficult, but first of all, we need to know how the template works more or less. Let's see how it works. Here in the chapter number three, we have the draw building shape. Here you can draw the shape as you wish. 
now this is the shape that we just draw it's horrible but it's working right if we want to generate our own shape we can create a curve node if we go into the top view now here you can just play a bit and drive your building shape like as you wish of course you can go in and toggle the the, um, the magnet just to make straight lines not like me i hope nobody's gonna take uh, those designs to build uh, real buildings because then it's gonna be a, a completely disaster for the humanity so let's do something like that and let's close this thing So this is the shape, and if we take a look at this, we'll see that the shape is reverse. So there is no problem. We can create a node reverse, and now it's going to be reverse. Perfect. And now, as easy as connect this centroid into the new shape, if we visualize the single building, bah, voila, new building generated in only one second. So if now i decide that i want a more circular shape for example you can draw it or if you want you can create a circle node please put uh, polygons and adjust the orientation let's make it a slightly bit bigger and let's reverse it again because of course it's reversed let's plug and see the result there you go that's perfect. Now, cylindrical buildings. But how this template works? Let's do a quick overview. Let's come back to the original shape and let's see how it works. We start with the chapter number one, which is importing the windows and importing the doors. Maybe you can do uh, more windows, more doors. In this case, in this example, this template, I only put you uh, one single windows and one door. Here, we have the chapter two, which is uh, optional, is a procedure, is a proxy zone. So try to imagine that you are doing crazy subdivided geometries for doors, balconies, windows. Maybe you can just model like pretty basic geometry just to test your, your setup. And then once it's working, you can switch to the original or the render geometry. This is optional, so you decide. Now it's put it as a render geo in this switch. So let's move to the next chapter, which is modeling. Here I'm doing like a crazy amount of work to model this balcony. Then here we have windows. Here we are setting up the big windows and the small windows. The, big, the small windows is just one, the big windows is uh, now it's three, but it's gonna change. Then this is gonna be uh, attached to the two, so we can create as many as we want. Then we have the door, that it's it has to be in the uh, it has to be in the in the ground, not in the middle of the center. And here is the draw building shape that we already know. Here. From this shape, we're gonna get two things, the shape and also the points, because those are the points and those points contain a lot of information like the, the, the size of the wall, uh, the, the size of height and position, a lot of stuff that we can play then to attach objects. Chapter number four, we import those points and let's do uh, and then we do some definitions so for the door we do a definition so it's based on like okay if it's the first floor so floor zero we're gonna put doors not windows and then if the size is uh, smaller than something do not put doors for the windows is a bit different because we have balconies, we have uh, uh, big and small windows. So here what we are defining based on the size of the area, which uh, um, window size we are going to put. And this is based on those points. 
then we're gonna merge everything in the chapter number six so as you can see we are just merging the elements over there basically it's like copying two points and that's all and then we have the chapter number seven which is related with the blocking stuff everything is uh, based on two lines those perpendicular lines that this is the the di distance between each building repetition and then this second one is the distance between between the blocks and finally the chapter number eight is based on materials of course now we cannot see the materials because i'm a genius and i set up the materials in material x and we can only visualize them in 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 karma so if we dive in the karma and we activate the hdri map here you will see that now it's reading the maps and if we go to xpu because it's slightly bit faster at least with my graphic card we can see this render i hope that you will find this interesting or useful and of course this is just a first approach of a procedural modeling so you can make it more complete and difficult and more professional in this example i show you a tool that i did it's a little bit more complicated you can see the houdini rig in the right and you can customize whatever you want and the final link it's much better than than this proxy template that we have well so that's all thank you so much for watching the video please like comment subscribe or the best part recommend this content if you found it was useful to your friends now it's your time to make it yours make it more complex make different stuff make instead of a building let's make a castle then you can send me the image the video and we can take a look together thank you so much and see ya